yeah um it's just that i also saw a um another detail in that movie um the fact that he's a constabulary uh that he's a policeman that he is representing uh a a, a sort of dominant society and in 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 the king being in a king or the law being sacrificed the only next uh victim or target will be the psychopath yeah that's absolutely spot on yeah it's 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 a it's a phenomenally deep film on that level and and that's really key about what paganism is and the whole thing about why this ritual is re uh is 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 redone over and over again about explaining yeah. what happens when the, when you don't kill the predator to 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 kill them you kill uh or rather someone gets killed or sacrificed so the predator can die because you cannot kill them you can only yeah. kill them by taking away their their food source Because there's nothing under the surface, they're a hollow shell, and everything, they're completely dependent upon the exterior food source, this, this vampiric nature they have, but ultimately there's nothing in there. They're completely, what's the word, dependence. They always need enablers, and as soon as the enablers dry up, they're, they're gone, they're finished. But they are, as, as you mentioned, right, they do have a very, very important purpose in nature. Not mm. just in, 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 in the natural world, in, in, in the case of uh, apex predators like uh, the wolf or the killer whale or um, things like that. In human society, as, as you pointed out, they have a transformative function. Right, they, some They're, people right are in a weakened spiritual state. To be able to transition from that into something bigger, they need to be killed. Say that again. Who needs to be killed? Well, if I am in a spiritual weakened state, right? Yeah. yeah. I I have to either be rebuilt, but it is it is an easier transition to let myself be killed. Mm, yeah, and that's why that's what comes down this whole transhumanism. But back to that thing again, they in rather than rather than to teach us how to react and be revulsed by the psychopathic control grid to bring us to the next la la layer of evolution through a reactive process to the degradation they cause, they want to make us believe that we're spiritually dead, that there's nothing worth saving, and the best thing of all would be. Uh, to uh, to just give in and let them replace us with machines or wipe us all out to save the earth, and they've been they've been they've been doing this for a long time. They, this 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 whole thing of take of taking away our soul. I found this book, this this school book. When I was a little kid, I had this book. This is from the seventies, right? And it's called What to Look for Inside a Church, right? What to look for inside a church. That's a children's and book. It's, it's, yeah. Well, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> what? And it show, look, 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 what to look for inside a church and it shows like all the technical and architectural details the naves, the altar, right? The one thing it doesn't mention you should look for in a church is God and that tells you everything, and that tells you everything you need to know about the psychopathic approach to life The purpose of a church is to house the trappings of religion but not to house the trappings of the eternal and that to me sums them up perfectly what to looks like for inside a human being is flesh, blood, bone, sinews, viscera, but not the internal personality. And that's why they're obsessed with these artists who, uh, excuse me a second, mm -hmm. these artists who do things like chop up human bodies and stuff like that and uh, open the skin up. So psychopaths love those uh, kind of artists who could, you know, take dead bodies of executed Chinese prisoners and peel back the skin and they talk about how it's interesting and fascinating how the body works and it is but they, they, they miss the one important aspect that there used to be a person in there. Yes. Yes. It's, it's funny, um, I, I, was, um, I was just um, watching this morning um, a, a very old Walt Disney um, 
uh, cartoon with uh, Donald Duck where he's being introduced to uh, Pythagorean thought and how everything is math. This would be the difference oh, between... I, 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 I've seen that cartoon, it's very good. It's, it, again, this is the difference between what I would call a functional psychopath and a destructive psychopath. What you just pointed out, right? Because you, deconstructing things and understanding things, that's a useful thing, right? But if, if you let them roam free, they will cut up your pets. They will kill your population. They will systematically, they, they will become Dr. Mengele, right? Instead of being a source of good. Yeah. But if they if if they get to fill the shoes that they are destined to to have, right? If if they focus on what they are supposed to do, giving us a an opportunity of transformation when we need it, um, figuring out how things work, right? Um, teaching us how um, how there must always be some sort of. Uh, um, governance right but it has to be benevolent it has to be uh, with the heart and the heart cannot be the same person mm.